Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will be learning about how to create a user in Zoom API. This is a most used features and we will be showing you how to do that now. Before we start adding users, we should go over the difference between an account and a user. An account can be thought of as the organization or company, an account is where the users live. A user is an individual's account. Now there are different ways to create a user. Like create, auto create and cast create. Now in the first method create. Host can create an account in Zoom. Host must verify through email. Host can create a password. Can schedule meetings on your website or Zoom. It is available to business and API plans. User will get an email sent from Zoom. There is a confirmation link in this email. The user will then need to use the link to activate their Zoom account. The user can then set or change their password and name. This is kind of standard setup in every site where you get an email and then you register from basically accepting and verifying yourself. Now in auto create. A host can create an account in Zoom. Host does not need to verify through email. API creates an initial password. Can schedule meetings on your website or Zoom. It is available to business plan with managed domain. This action is provided for the enterprise customer who has a managed domain. This feature is disabled by default because of the security risk involved in creating a user who does not belong to your domain. Now lastly in cast create can create a pseudo host account in Zoom. Host does not need to verify through email. Host cannot log in directly. Can schedule meetings only on your website. It is available to API partner only. This action is provided for API partners only. A user created in this way has no password and is not able to log into the Zoom website or client. If you want to restrict the meeting minutes to only being started through your API calls then you can do it. Note that this is not the real web page of API Playground. It's just a sample so that I can show you as an example. Here we selected create a user call and we have API key and secret, this is basically given to you by Zoom to validate so that you can make API calls that no one can randomly use. Here we have data type. It will show the data return. Which is the identity of the user after you create them in the form of JSON or XML form. Here I have given a random email ID and we can set the user type depending on the user and we can limit their group meeting duration in this way. The two parameter that is really required is the user type and the email. Here the first name and last name can verify themselves in that email itself. We have given first name as Zoom and the last name as user. Here in department we can Disable in meeting chat Disable group HD Enable end-to-end -end encryption Enable attendee on hold Disable meeting recording Disable feedback Disable join before host reminder Meeting capacity is the number of users that can join your meeting and we can enable webinar and enable large meeting. The default capacity is 25 users. And then submit the form by clicking the send API request to see what we get. This are the parameter that we send through. API key, API secret, email, and data type. Basically what you get after this call is The user ID which is unique for every user in Zoom and it is used for creating meeting using this ID Email, first name, last name, type of user and all the other meeting option that you put <laughs> 